Hello everyone and welcome to Medi Simplified. So today in this video we are going to talk about CoRadge that is COVID-19 reporting and data system. Okay, so let's know more about it. COVID-19 reporting and data system that is CoRadge. So what is CoRadge? Uh, in CoRadge, first of all, what we should know is that the investigation which we do is a CT scan, and based on that uh, CT findings, based on the CT findings. Uh, we uh, con we get a conclusion to the level of, to know the level of suspicion of COVID-19 infection in a person, and it is graded from um, CoRadge one that is very low or up to CoRadge five that is very high suspicion. We also have CoRadge zero and CoRadge six. CoRadge six is a patient who is already RT-PCR positive for COVID-19, and CoRadge zero is something like uh, suppose we don't have a conclusive uh, image right not conclusive image the quality of the paper uh, the film is not good or the light was not proper during the imaging or the image was abrupt or not properly taken so in such cases it is labeled as corats zero now going further so this is the whole table of the corats side right so first of all we have corats then no the level of suspicion of the disease that is COVID-19 infection, then CT findings, what we see in CT, and some remarks about each of them. So the CORAD 0, I've already told you that it is a not interpretable finding, and the scans are incomplete. CORAD 1, CORAD 1 means uh, there is no COVID-19 or very low suspicion of COVID-19 in the patient. And uh, a normal or a non-infectious abnormality in the lungs is seen. So such as lung tumors can be seen, which is a non-infectious but abnormal emphysema or the chest X-ray or the chest CT can be a normal chest CT without any abnormalities. Then we have CORADS 2, that is the level of suspicion of COVID-19 is low. There are abnormalities present, which is consistent with an infection, but this infection is not COVID-19 infection. It is other than COVID something else. Right, like abscess, which is an infection, bronchitis is an infection, but is not associated with anything with COVID. So it is CORADS 2, and suspicion of uh, COVID 19 infection is low. Then we have CORADS 3, that is the suspicious uh, suspicion of having the infection is intermediate or in between, and uh, the CT findings are not clear whether it is whether the COVID 19 infection is present or not. So it is CORADS 3, intermediate. Then we have CORADS 4, that is high suspicion of having COVID-19 infection. Abnormalities, suspicion of COVID-19 is present. But the typical CT findings which are present for COVID-19 is there, but it is not at a typical location. Uh, what I mean by this, uh, if we talk about CORADS 5, that is very high suspicion of COVID-19, the typical COVID-19 uh, abnormalities are present. In case of CORADS 4 also it is present, but what is happening here that uh, in case of CORADS 5, there are multifocal uh, lesions are present, but in case of CORADS 4, it is unifocal. They are present in a, one lower at a, one side. So we call it as CORADS 4 and high suspicion. But if it is multifocal, it is widespread, we call it as CORADS 5 and it is very high suspicion that the patient can have a COVID-19 infection. Then at last, I told you about CORADS 6 already, that is the patient is RT-PCR positive. Now going further and uh, talking about what are, what are this typical COVID-19 uh, abnormalities found in the CT, right? Typical COVID-19 abnormalities, right? So what are they? We have many. First is ground glass opacities. We call it, uh, abbreviate it as GGO then halo sign or halo sign, then there is crazy paving pattern in the CT, then there are vascular thickening, parenchymal and, and abnormalities present that is showing the parenchyma has been involved, spider web can be seen. So these are the typical findings of COVID-19 on CT. So I'll try to show you some of them. So first is crazy paving pattern, what it is, it is it occurs due to thickening of the interlobular septa and the intralobular lines superimposed on the ground glass opacities or attenuation. And this is how a crazy wavy pattern looks like. Right? And next we have this halo sign. You can see uh, opacity with a halo 
of circle around it right now uh, let's find we have two cases two ct and let's try to find out their four acts right so one is first case is this and second is this one uh, make sure to find out this circle and arrow also which has been given here so what should we do right now we'll, i'll you should just pause this video for a while try to observe both the cts if you can find any abnormalities note it down or keep it in your mind and then uh, play the video again and let's find the answer then together okay okay so now let's see what this uh, ct scans are showing to us so the case one that is this this picture is having multifocal ground glass opacification along with consolidation whereas this case two we also have few history about it and a pcr positive but what are the findings we can see we can again see bilateral multifocal ground glass opacification along with this vascular thickening which is mentioned in this circle and the subpleural bands formation which is shown by this yellow color arrow and this patient is pcr positive so if any case comes to us uh, with a pcr positive rt pcr positive it is a corax 6 which we know already now this case one is having multifocal ggo ggo that is ground glass opacification again it is a typical finding of a uh, covid 19 case of ct so it is corax 4 or 5 high suspicion or very high suspicion i told you if it is unifocal it will be corax 4 but here it is multifocal so we go with the corax 5 that is very high suspicion of having the covid 19 infection and uh, so this was uh, the uh, discussion about this both ct scans and everything i had to discuss with you so thanks for watching this video hope you found it useful do like share and subscribe my channel medi simplified do not forget to follow us on instagram and facebook and also join a group of uh, not twitter telegram which is uh, there in the description so thanks for watching the video again and hope you have a good day